Hey everyone, Brent Coley here, and in this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the amazing free, one of my favorite words, free online resource, libib.com, to create an online catalog, an online inventory of the books that you own by simply scanning the barcode, the ISBN of the book. This is an amazing tool that I've discovered. Great way, let's say you're a teacher and you have a classroom library. What a great way to catalog the books that you have in your library. You could also do this for your personal books uh, that you've got at home, or you could do it for both. So go to libib.com. There is a free version, a free account. There's also a paid version, but you do not need the paid version. So you can just sign up for a free account. So to do that, go to the website, libib.com, click the Get Started button. I've already done that, so I'm just gonna click Log In and Log In, and that's gonna take me to the home page that looks like this. Now on the left-hand side, what you're gonna see is your basic menu. I'm at the, the home page that has the different categories which they call collections. So you can see I've created different collections up here, different categories. The children's books I own, the education, like the, the professional learning books, my faith-based books, my fantasy collection, fiction books, picture books. Those are all different collections that I created by clicking right over here. I just clicked add collection. So when you create your account, you would click add collection and just create the different categories. So again, if you're a teacher, maybe you've got picture books, maybe you've got chapter books, whatever it is, maybe it's nonfiction, maybe it's fiction, you can create whatever categories you want. Now you can see here, I have already entered, I have already scanned all of these books. So I'm in the education category, and you can see here that it lists alphabetically and it shows the book titles of all of these different books that I have in my library. So for example, if I click on Edu Protocols, if I click on that, it takes me, almost looks like the Amazon page, it shows me the cover and it shows me the description that I've got right here. And I can even say how many copies of that book I have. So again, if I can, I can edit all of this if I want. So you can see, all of the different books that I have in this library. And if I wanna to switch to a different, let's go to the children's book collection, for example, you can see that I have those different books there. So your question may be, well, how did you get these books in here? Well, it's super, super easy. All you do is scan the barcode, the ISBN. And what I highly recommend, I'm showing you the desktop version, but there's also an app. And I'm gonna show you in just a second. You can buy a scanner off of Amazon, one of those little Bluetooth boop, boop guns like you would see in a library, and, and hook that onto your computer and scan books using the desktop or a laptop version. But what I recommend, everything that you see here on the desktop version, they also have in the free LibIB app. So right now I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone to scan the books into your library. Okay, so if you download and open the free LibIB app, it looks like this. If you tap that and open it, it will show you pretty much everything that we saw on the desktop version. You can see the different collections that I have created right here. You can also create new collections straight within the app. The lower right hand corner, if you tap the little plus, you can then add new collections right there. And then if you tap on any of the collections, it's going to list the different books that you have in your collection. Now on the app, you don't necessarily see the uh, uh, the covers of the book, uh, but if you tap on it, then you will. And then again, if I tap, for example, on the description down here, you're going to see pretty much the description of the book, the same thing that you would find on Amazon. Now, if I wanted to add a new book 
to my collection, you do that using the camera on your phone right in the app. So let's say I want to add one of the Harry Potter books to my collection. Let's say I want to put it in the children's section. So I'm going to tap children's. It will show the books that I currently have in there. And then the lot in the lower right hand corner, I'm just going to tap the plus button, tap the barcode, and then tap books. And now you can see here, so let's say, you can see I've got the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm just going to flip this over and find the barcode right down there. And you saw, look at that, how quickly there it is. And if I wanted to do another one, you can see at the bottom, scan another item. So now, if I'm done, up oh, you can see right here, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, there it is. And if I tap on the description, you can see it's exactly what I would see on Amazon. So once again, this is an amazing tool. You don't need to buy a scanner. Everything can be done directly within the app. So we're back in the desktop version. You can see how easy it is to get all of these books into your online catalog. Again, what you see all of these books, I probably got into this in about 10 minutes. I mean, it just took them off the shelf, boop, 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 and they're done. The last thing I want to show you is, what if you wanted to share with somebody your online catalog? For example, you're a classroom teacher and you want to share with your students and their families which books you have available for them to check out or maybe you're a teacher or a principal and you want to share your professional development library with your staff watch this you go right here to the publish and now what you can do is you can share now you can see which collections do you want to publish so you can see i can select all which all of my different categories but let's say i don't want to do that let's say in my current role I just want to share the education books with my colleagues, with my principals and assistant principals, for example, to let them know, hey, you want to borrow a book? Here's what I have to choose from. I can just select that collection. Again, I can choose as many or as few as I want and click publish. And now you can see right up here that has been published. And now if I send this link right here, if I go, if I send that link, it will take them to a public link, a, a public uh, website that you can see right here. It just shows Brent Coley's collection. Now, the difference is you can see their link, when they see it, they're not going to be able to click on this like we were able to see when I went back here. I'm able to click on mine. The public link that you send out it's not clickable. That's actually something that you can enable if you do the paid version of the website. But again, even without being able to click on it, they can still get an idea of all of the different books that I have in my library. So once again, libib.com, an amazing free resource that enables you to scan just the ISBN, the barcode of the book to create an online inventory and everything that you can do on the desktop version can also be done in the app. All right, enjoy.